I'm Mike Soskal, a teacher in Northeastern Pennsylvania, and I believe that students should be empowered to believe that they can change the world, and that our job as teachers is to help them do that. And so over the past few years, uh, we've gotten involved in a lot of service learning projects where kids were able to connect with uh, different cultures and, and students and teachers and experts around the world, and then identify problems that they wanted to solve because they were passionate about them. And uh, yesterday I just gave a poster session here at ISTE where our, uh, we shared the distance teaching project, which was, uh, started with a collaboration. Uh, we found a teacher, Livingston Kigode, in the Kibera slum and uh, on Skype in the classroom, education.skype.com. And we were able to connect with his kids and my, my students sang a song to them and they sang back to us and we had a little cultural exchange. And after that call, my students came to me with tears in their eyes and they said, Mr. Soskal, we see the conditions that they're learning in there in Kenya and we see the conditions of our classroom and we want to do something to help them. And so what my students decided to do was to use the math materials that we have in our school in Pennsylvania that they don't have access to in Kibera and to shoot short three to four minute videos uh, and put them on YouTube and post them to a website in order for the, the kids in Kenya to have access to them and to be able to learn math conceptually uh, in a way that wasn't possible before. But we also wanted to empower those kids in Kenya uh, to know that they mattered also. And so we asked them to teach us Swahili. This is just one of the many service projects that, uh, that my students have been involved in. And it's really changed the way that learning happens in our school. Because we know that kids have to have an emotional connection with the content that they're learning in order to transfer it from short-term to long-term memory. And service, global service learning projects make that connection for kids so that the learning sticks. You know, uh, as time has gone on, and we've made connections with so many different kids and, and cultures, uh, other projects have sprung up. And I was, I was just in Kenya five or six weeks ago, and I had the pleasure of you know, meeting some teachers and working in three different schools uh, in Kibera and out in rural western Kenya. And uh, you know, students everywhere are students. They, they want the same things. Uh, you know, they want to be happy. They want to be with their friends. They want to learn. And uh, for, for kids to connect and see that is so, so vitally important uh, in today's global, global society. And uh, when, when my students, after getting to know the kids in Kibera through the, the distance teaching project after a while, you know, they learned about the water problems in Kibera and that some of the pipes run along the ground and some of the unpleasant things uh, during the rainy season sometimes get into the water supply and they, they make kids sick. And they wanted to do something to solve that because we had a culture of identifying problems and then uh, you know, having students go out and solve them. And we were able to partner with uh, Andover, the middle school in Andover, Kansas and a school in Tricola, Greece uh, to do some fundraising for water filters uh, for the two schools in Cabrera that we were working with. And uh, during you know, one of the most amazing moments of my teaching career, uh, end of my trip to Kenya, was the day when we were able to have a seven school Skype call where students in seven different schools were able to connect with each other. The five schools that helped raise money for the water filters and the two schools that, that received them uh, were all on a Skype call at the same time talking to each other. And as, as the children in Kibera hugged the new water filters that they got, and the students back home in Pennsylvania saw those and saw the impact that they had through that service project, that they literally could have saved these children's lives. Twelve kids died of cholera in the two weeks that I was in Kenya. Uh, and these kids and their families were now safe because of the water filters that they, that they got. Uh, was just so powerful. And that's the kind of emotional connection that kids need uh, with their learning. And that's why I'm so passionate about global learning and global service learning.